Really, really good first season for you last year. Uh, how do how do things change this year? Do you feel like it's a little bit easier this year? Uh, you know, in some ways it's easier with uh, being a second season uh, in our program. Uh, expectations for kids aren't quite as new. Uh, it's it's a, there's more of a challenge in that we have very little experience on our team. So you know, having really about four starters back is tough, and uh, there's no other way to duplicate Friday night for them. So uh, whether they get uh, the hang of it in one quarter or if it takes them a few games, uh, you know, they're going to be fine whenever that happens. I, I hope it's real soon, though. I hope it takes about a series or two and they're ready. Yeah. How much are you guys going to be leaning on some of those younger players uh, and needing them <clears throat> to step up right away? Well, we could be uh, relying on a, a handful of young guys. There's actually a, a freshman that's number one at his position on the depth chart, which is – you know, a new experience for uh, for a lot of us, really. Uh, a couple of sophomores could be in the lineup. Uh, for the most part, the teams, um, as of now, looks like the varsity squad would be mostly juniors and seniors like everybody else. It's just some juniors and seniors that don't have a lot of varsity experience. For the guys that are back and that have that experience, mm -hmm. uh, have they been setting the tone in practice? How important is it for them to set that tone? Uh, it's very important uh, that they set the tone. They've, um, you know, they have. Uh, as well as possible in practice. You know, it's, it's just hard to uh, find a way to show young kids what varsity football is about. You know, the, just the, the speed of it, the intensity. Uh, you know, everybody that's played the game on Friday night knows that there's nothing like it. it there's not a way to describe it and a way to have them prepared for it. And so, uh, you know, we talk, you know, our leaders talk. Uh, they show it in practice as well. But, uh, you know, the game itself is really going to be the best test for them. What have you liked that you've seen from this group so far mm. in, uh, in practice? This coach has been, or this coach, this team, this team has been uh, completely coachable. Uh, they work their tails off. They've had fantastic attitudes. Uh, the enthusiasm in practice um, is better than I've seen most years as a head coach. Uh, and I think that's going to carry us a long way. They're having fun at football practice and you know uh, it's oftentimes uh, difficult to do but they are they come to practice every day and find a way to have fun doing it and that's a great sign you know they love the game uh, we don't have a lot of kids but the ones we have are uh, you know thoroughly enjoying what's going on coming together as a team and uh, we as a staff are having a fantastic time coaching them. How important is Noah to your success this season? Oh, well, he means a lot. And uh, last year he had the luxury of just playing quarterback. Nothing on defense, never seen a special team. Uh, and that won't be the case this year. You know, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a, a tremendous athlete, and uh, we can't afford to keep him off the field. So he'll be playing both sides of the ball, uh, maybe special teams at times. But... Uh, Having your quarterback back, especially uh, such an, an effective one as Noah has been for us, uh, it, it means a ton to our, our offense and really our team. You know, we have an instant credible leader uh, every time uh, we have a, a tough moment. And right now the moments have only been tough in practice and those are, no, are nowhere near how tough it will be on a Friday. So having a guy that's been through those battles and, and, and succeeded in those battles is going to mean a lot as those young kids look for a leader.